It's a good day in the RC Spark studio, and here is my RC four-wheel drive Galenda 2. Basically, a Land Rover. But this is one I've been upgrading slowly over time, based on the needs that I've had uh, when I was out driving it. Now, for the folks that have been following the channel, of course, you've seen how I've upgraded it already. But just to do a light overview for people, these are aftermarket tires and uh, rims. I got them both at the same store. They got quite a distribution thing going on. It's pretty good. Uh, these are aluminum Dick CPEC uh, rims on 1.9 Mudslinger tires, I believe. Maybe I got the 1.7s. Can't remember at this time. Uh, this, of course, is just for the internals. You'll see the battery in a moment. Uh, let's take it and flip it around. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What do you see? Kaboom, right there, right at the top. This is a, a LED light bar. The light bar itself is four inches across and it shines out very bright light. Now, is it brighter than the two front LEDs? You're darn right it is. Now, here we go, lift it up. I've already taken the screws out. This is to plug in the LED I was just speaking about. And on the inside, dun, 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 dun. Uh, quick overview here, three channel spectrum waterproof receiver, okay? The model number is SR200WP. This is a high tech waterproof servo. Uh, the model number is HS5646WP, which stands for waterproof. Uh, though I do usually use Savox servos now, the price cost versus value seems to be good. You know, and I've had mixed mixed luck with these ones, but you know how it goes. Uh, Team Tekken RS Gen 2 ESC on a Rock 412 censored brushless motor. Uh, I have waterproofed this. You know what, guys, I'd show you how to do it, but it's kind of a crapshoot 50-50 if it works for me or not as well. So I don't have the formula quite yet to share it. I don't want people to wreck their stuff. It's expensive. Uh, okay, single speed transmission out to an output drive into a real transfer case. Spindles the power out to the uh, two upgraded RC four-wheel drive Punisher shafts that I have uh, out to both axles that are four-wheel drive. This is stock, check it out, inside steering, so it's behind the axle. Okay, very nice. Now, one of the things I noticed out on the trail is that whenever I needed a winch, the stock truck didn't actually have a winch point. In fact, this little front bracket on the front, if you can see it, uh, wasn't there. This actually comes with a bumper that I purchased. This one is actually a discontinued model. Uh, does not come with the winch on the back, uh, but I've already pre-installed the winch. Well, I've threaded it through because I didn't notice I needed a fair lead on the front. See that? That's okay. I'll pick one of those up as well. But all aluminum. These are, are the discontinued ones you can tell because the light buckets haven't been cut in here. This is an ARB. Uh, you can see I took one sticker off already. ARB bumper, all metal. And I'll tell you, I already tried to install this and I went through, did the whole video, thought I knew what I was doing because it didn't come with any instructions. And I got all the way to the end and I couldn't figure out why it didn't fit on the truck until I sat down, you know, used a little bit of reasoning and found out it was because I took this whole front bumper off of the vehicle. Now, here, we'll just put this out of the way. I didn't realize, like what I was doing was I took the front bumper off, there was a cross brace right behind it, and I, you know, I, I assembled everything, I put the bumper on, I mounted the winch, it's a big pain in the butt, but I finally got it done and it wouldn't fit, it was too short, and I realized that you have to keep the stock bumper on, okay? And then use the two stock screws that are there, they will fit with this mounting bracket on. So my friends, if you do get this bumper right here, I believe in my best interest after I dry fit it that you have to leave this front bumper on. There are two holes screwed right in the front, putting this little mounting bracket on, no big deal at all. Now, one of the things that I had to show you, he's like, well, you guys are like, why are you showing us mounting a bumper? <laughs> Sometimes uh, there's things I discover that, that, you know what, if I can help one person, it's worth it. I had to 
uh, pre-thread the winch through. This isn't the winch I want to use. I'm going to use a different winch, even though this bulldog winch is pretty boss. Uh, there is a new winch that I have on the way that I'd, I'd like to use on this instead. But you have to sandwich this on. And what I mean by that is once it's pre-threaded, here, I'll show you right there. You have to lift it up, put the, this mounting bracket right in the middle and mount up the bottom bumper uh, or the bumper right from the bottom. Now, this is a little bit of a trick, okay? Because what you also have to do, once this is mounted up to the front, you also have to sandwich all this together, get the screws through the right holes, and get it all with uh, some lock nuts on the other side. Now, it doesn't uh, want you to use lock nuts to begin with. Instead, they come with these little tiny, uh, here, I'll show you this if I can focus on it. Ah, it's hard because these are round. Little tiny washers and these, of course, little tiny hex screws. And they're okay, but they're not that big. And I'll tell you what, they're really hard to hold on to. So instead, I ordered some button head cap screws. These are M3 10 millimeters. What does that mean? I'll show you. It's this little silver one, okay? I know it's not focusing on the screw, there we go. It's this little silver one, and compared to the other ones, it's a little bit thicker. I love that there's real cable on there, hey? Check that out, real cable. Okay, much better. Uh, so with these uh, screws hanging down, now you can line them up on the pre-drilled holes that are on the bumper. You might have a hard time uh, lining up the holes, but be patient. You can do it. I mean, I'm talking to myself right now, really. <laughs> now, get that bumper in there. Line it up properly. See what I mean? It's a test. You want to take your time with this. There we go. Get it fit in there. Get those screws to drop down. Wow, so testing of the patience, hey? Isn't that uh, just like anything in our hobby? You gotta take your time, be patient. If it doesn't fit, normally you're doing it wrong. <laughs> That's the truth. Okay, let's see if I can get one of these through. Anything, do I even have the right bit? Probably not. Yeah, it's the right one. If I can get it in there, sorry, blocking the camera. Now, let me, I need to get in front of the camera, guys, sorry. All right, I hope you guys are ready for this. I had to get in front and actually just get that lined up properly, but check that out. What do you think, pretty boss looking? Now, I definitely need to get that chrome fair lead up front, hey? That bulldog winch looks pretty good on the inside. What do you think? Now, that's pretty pretty tough looking, hey, up front. I think that'll have, you know, that'll give me some an extra bit of weight when I'm crawling on the trail. Let's see up front. Now, I don't have the body posts in, okay? So, yeah, it looks like it kind of blocks the lights a little bit, but I don't have this quite lined up properly. But, you know, a little bit of sacrifice. I do have this big one up here. And if it was really hurting, I'm sure I could mount a couple of one inch uh, Vanquish LEDs in here and just bypass the front LEDs altogether. But I think, you know, for a rig, not too bad at all. Shall we plug her in, see what those lights look like lit up? Got the radio on, check this here. Might as well plug in the lead for the top. Uh, for the top LED as well. Do, 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 do. Here we go, and right here. There, everybody likes a light show at the end of the day, hey? <laughs> See how it looks. And kaboosh, there we go. We will just put this on, just for a good little view here. Not too bad, not too bad. That's a killer light, I told you, hey? <laughs> Where were you last night? You know, uh, we're conducting an investigation. Hey, check that out. Now, I just plugged it in there to show you. Sorry, hopefully that's not ruining it for you, but not too bad. I think it looks pretty nice. Anyway, guys, hopefully uh, 
you liked this little upgrade, tell me, do you guys use your stock bumpers or do you use aftermarket or do you make your own bumpers? Uh, I wouldn't mind knowing actually, because I've seen quite a few very cool homemade bumpers out there. In fact, I've got one from Crazy Joe from back in the day when he used to build bumpers. Uh, I think this one looks pretty good, especially for the whole blackout theme. Guys, hopefully I've earned your subscription. Hopefully this video made you smile and you're gonna get out there and uh, try our scene or get out there and have some fun on your own. My friends, thanks for watching. See you in the next RC adventure.